2010 Nissan Versa, the outer door handle has come apart like this. So we're gonna take the door panel off and uh, repair this handle. I'm Brian Essen from How To Automotive. I'm gonna walk you through the steps of doing that. So we're gonna get started by removing this gray piece on the door handle here. And the way I did that was to put a screwdriver behind like this and, and just give it a little pry. And once you get it pry free, it'll pop off and set that aside. Next, we wanna pop up the master window switch here. So you just put a little screwdriver in between here and pop it up. And then you just work every couple inches. There's a little catch. You just work right where the catches are and you pop it up. And now you're going to unplug the switch from the connector here and set aside. And you're going to remove the 10 millimeter bolt here and the 10 millimeter bolt here. And one of the things I wanted to, to remind you is before you unplug your window switch and everything, make sure your window's rolled up. Okay, now that the window switch is unplugged, the, the, the bolts are out of the panel. Now you can reach your hands around on the bottom of the panel and get your hand and pull. And there, every couple of inches there's going to be a clip. So you work these clips off and you just pull them off. Now that you got all the panel, the clips popped out like this, you're just going to put your hands on the left side and one hand on the right side and kind of just wiggle it around and lift it off the door. Now we need to peel this weather barrier back. And the way I do that without ripping it all up is just start. Uh, do a little bit at a time so you grab it and pull and then kind of work your way and just keep working your way just a little at a time if you go too fast or pull too hard it'll tear the plastic up so the customers also asked me to install a new switch for the uh, for the lock button on the handle so we got a new one of these two so we're gonna start by uh, unplugging the, the that switch right here which is the blue wire so you'll just push the little tabs and unplug it Okay, after getting the electrical connector, uh, disconnect it and pull off the little perch here. Um, next thing you do is get the rod that's connected to the handle, or connected to the door lock. And if you look up there, it's got the yellow, just behind this wire up here, it's got the yellow little tab. We need to pop that, you're going to put your finger on it, like behind it, and pop it forward, and then you're going to pull the rod off. Now that you got the rod off, right here on the side of the door, you're going to peel this little sticker off. And then inside there is going to be a Torx. You're going to unscrew the Torx. And then um, after the Torx is unscrewed, you should be able to work the, uh, the lock cylinder out. And that's where the rod was hooked up to. And this is the little lever I was referring to. You're also going to have to unplug the brown connector too. And that's part of the, the switch on the, uh, the handle on the door lock. So unplug that and then you can kind of feed it up here and then help uh, pull it through like this where you can get to where you want to work on it. So we're going to actually change out this portion of the, of the switch. Okay, so on this door handle, there's actually nothing wrong with this particular one. It just when the customer was trying to uh, change it, tried to change this out himself and that's how it got all popped apart like this. So if you're changing the door handle, you have to pull the wire that goes through on the inside of the door, unplug it and fish it through the door. So, and also, so going back in, what you want to do is make sure this little gasket's in place like that. And then you also want to make sure the gasket here is in place. So you want to make sure your gasket's in place here. Once you do, um, if you're replacing the handle, you're going to run your wire back through. And now on this end of the handle, it has this little, little hook right here. So you just kind of rotate it in like this, like that. And then once you get it into place, you also got to make sure that this little this little hook right here hooks behind this rod right here. So once you once you put it in like this, now you're gonna pop it to the towards the front of the car like that, and that'll lock it in place. And you can actually pull the handle, and you can hear it working and see it working the the latch mechanism. So you know that you got that portion right. So now I'm gonna change the switch, the button here for the lock. And the way you do it is right here on the front, you need to pop this plastic cover off. So you're gonna put your screwdriver here and pry upwards and peel it back on both. And you're gonna do it here and here, and that'll peel the cover off. Now that you got the cover off, now you can just pull the switch out and you're gonna put it back in the exact same way. So pay attention to how it comes out and uh, install the new one. So when you go to reinstall it, it has this little slot, little groove, and that has to go into right here that way. So you put it in where the grooves line up and push it in until it snaps. Now you're going to put the lock cylinder back in, and it has this little hook here. 
So that's going to hook over here first, and then you're going to rotate it down and then uh, until the these two tabs lock into the here and here. So now we're going to fish the two wires back through the door. And on the other side, you'll help guide them through and, and make sure that they don't get caught on anything. Now that you got the wires through, you're going to hook the uh, the ear here for the, the lat, the rod. It's going to hook in behind like this, and you're going to rotate it into place position. And you're going to pull the handle. And you're gonna, so you're going to rotate the, the piece through like this, and then you're going to pull the handle maybe a quarter inch or so, and then push the door latch in and then close. Now that's on and secure, now you're going to run your your torque screw back through and tighten it up here and then put your sticker back. Okay, now you're going to make sure your wires are routed in through here. And if you need to, I recommend you zip tie them on there so they don't get caught on the window track or anything. And then go ahead and plug them on and make sure they're mounted here. And then after that, what you can do is you're going to reach around like this and reach back there and, and reinstall the the lock rod into the into the door lock actuator and one of the tips I was going to show you is to help see what you're doing if you can look through the hole and you can actually see the rod and you're going to plug that rod into that little and then flip the little yellow clip down and lock it in place now that the yellow rod is resecured back onto the onto the lock cylinder now what we're going to do is reinstall our weather strip uh, barrier so you just put that back on now we can put our door panel back on, so we're going to take this little edge right here. It hooks over the top right here. So we're going to hook that over the top, and then we're going to line up all these little clips with the little holes on the doors here. So once you got them hooked over the top and it's lined up with it, then we're just going to... Then you're just going to tap it on with your hands all the way around the door. Reinstall your two screws here and here. Now you can take your window switch and go ahead and plug it back in. Then you're just going to take it and line it up with the door panel like that and just push it in with your fingers. And that's it. Now you're going to take this little cover here and you just slide it over and push it on until it locks into place. And that'll complete the outer door handle and lock cylinder replacement on a 2010 Nissan Versa. I'm Brian Essek from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. Encourage you to subscribe. Invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again.